Hi, in this video we are going to have a look at the new changes in King of Avalon version 14.0 that was just released. Normally you would think like 14 from 13.9 to 14 it's kind of a major new release but that's not really the case. They just uh, instead of going to 13.10 they go from 13.9 to 14 but nothing really major has changed. The well, there's the, the anniversary is coming up soon and there will be some events, but uh, at this moment nothing is uh, active yet. I'm not sure whether things are really going to be very interesting. Um, we'll see about that. Doesn't, from what I see here, it doesn't really look that exciting, but okay. Maybe I shouldn't criticize before it is actually um, actually starting. For the rest, the major new thing is a new equipment set. And this equipment set is Nightfall. It really looked, but uh, the, I'm sure the boost make another uh, relative, another jump if we see here. And compare this, so we see it's another big jump in the stats. This new set is not directly interesting for me because I'm not going to purchase anything, but what is quite uh, nice is the uh, the fact that some other, uh, yeah, it's going to be easier to get the older gear set that I didn't really have, or maybe I should have shown that uh, more clearly, but actually um, I only have three RS pieces, so it is nice that RS now becomes more, uh, becomes easier to get. So we have the normal changes. There are a few new chapters, 35 and 36, in the Merlin equipment trial. We have the timed Lord targets, also not very interesting for me, current points five. And we have the Destiny mark. Well, not really, I haven't really looked at the rewards yet, probably nothing very different from before, it seems. Okay, and we have the uh, hegemony trial. You can see I don't really expect, uh, well, my equipment is lagging so far behind, I wouldn't be surprised if I don't even... Uh, if I strand earlier than the last uh, one of the first path, which is most of the time the place where I fail. Oh. So let's see whether I'm able to beat this one. Yeah, I was already afraid this would happen, so already failure here. So yeah, for me, not so interesting. Sometimes I even forget about it the next couple of days. It's just a bit demotivating. Uh, um, other things. So we have a new honor pass that I already have enough to... Oh, I don't even have enough. Can I score some easy points? Maybe how much do I still uh, need? get three how much do I see that uh, well let's see if I can do certain things to get some points so that I can at least do the free key kind of hope for this one a lot of gold so if I can change that into stamina items always tend to do that Not sure how much I actually need for the honor pass maybe I will stop now see Yay, enough to, uh, for the key. 
and I can at least open it. Should have done this before the video. I'm sure this was not very interesting to watch, but okay. And as is normal, nothing interesting. So then we look at what has changed in the shops and the rewards. Um, let's first go to the Alliance store. That's where the most interesting stuff, for me at least, happened, which is the RS Ingot is now available. So I can purchase seven a day. So yeah, with, this will definitely help me a lot to get those last three RS pieces. And what is also very interesting is we now get four Aorus Ascendant Scrolls each day or get. We can purchase uh, them. That is also quite interesting. Unfortunately, this one, the seven, is still Starfall, but that will at a certain moment change as well. That can still take one or two updates, I think, or maybe even more. I don't know. Didn't pay too much attention to how much how much that lags behind. So this is definitely quite interesting for me. Um, we have the uh, normal choices that in the uh, Alchemist Corn Hellsbane has been replaced with Holy Eagle. Holy Eagle um, and Ares has been replaced with Nightfall in the Auction House. Starfall with Horus as rewards for Neither War and the Excelibur Invasion, the King First Kingdom. So that's also quite nice. Uh, Ares Ingold has been added to the Crucible. And what is also uh, quite interesting is that um, the primal offering now costs uh, two and that used to be four so that is also yeah twice as uh, cheap so that's quite uh, quite interesting not going to use it now but you can see it uh, see it here I'm going to wait until there is a next uh, event going on that we have this uh, higher chance to get and i don't think that is going on at the moment uh, or in some other way there is some event if there is some event going on that we get some points some credits for doing the primal offering that's always a more interesting moment okay that was already it for the changes that were announced and the changes that i noticed um so in itself it's not yeah, not special at all, and we will have to see what this e anniversary events are all about to say whether it's really uh, interesting. There were a couple of other events that were activated uh, at the time that this release, uh, this new release came on. We have the Heroes Return event. I actually had um, an account not used for quite some time in the hope this would return one of my farms so i definitely plan to get all the rewards and what is yeah what are the most interesting rewards in my eyes is the fragments of the newest hero orlando and irsa those will definitely help me so i'm quite happy about that for the rest not usually interesting the chest at the end get an extra for example 500 floss for stones or an intensity crystal six those are quite interesting as well uh, the other event that started is the weekly battle pass so here by completing daily quests we can get some rewards but it's also quite interesting we get some lord stamina that's not that easy to come by so it's definitely something i will try to focus on as well um, and that was really it as far as the things that changed that i noticed at least that were changed today as part of the update if you have seen anything else or if you have any comments or questions about these changes, that's always much appreciated and thanks for watching this video.